Hello, Heidi. Good evening. How are you? Let's see, let's see. Hello, teacher. Hello, Ana Claudia. Good evening. How are you? Ah, uh, let me just fix the sound. Here it is. Good evening. Uh, I'm very well. Thank you. Thank you for asking. That's nice. How was your weekend? I guess the mic. You you hear a little. You hear like hear like far away. I don't know if your microphone. Uh, it's in the right direction. I'm sorry, you've been asking? How was your weekend? Oh, I hear you better now. <laughs> My weekend was, was a, it was a good weekend, I can say, because I was able to attend my sign class and, and I, learn new vocabulary, <laughs> signing new vocabulary. But I must practice, practice, practice. And uh, then after the class, uh, we uh, attend also to, um, there was a presentation from some uh, dance school coming from India and it was for free here in Teatro Nacional. It was it was a, a good experience. It was something new, different, and I've been uh, there uh, enjoying with my sister and and nephew and niece. I'm sorry, and niece, and we were having a good time. And then we came home and just rest. <laughs> and Sunday it was a a calm day, so I could rest. At least I, here in my area, we haven't been affected for the storm or any type of uh, rain. Mm -hmm. So until today, today morning, yes, yeah, so, um, uh, it was a rainy morning. Today it started raining. Well, in my case, today in the afternoon, it was raining a lot. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. Here it was uh, in the morning. And you know, today in my job, always every Monday we have a meeting, a general meeting uh, with uh, two directors, with the client, with the customer. No, it's the client of the account. And now I, today we were, having some like exercises of questioning and stuff like that. At the end, I realized the most important thing it was the second close. <laughs> the type, yes, because they want us, we practice a type of com a selling conversation that they use. If I do this, uh, will you do that? Da, da, da. Oh my God, that's a close. <laughs> and I could identify that. The clothes I was, it was so funny. And I realized how the, how I improved myself because in the past, maybe I was just making a combination of subject plus barriers, not understanding the grammar at, at this point, like a, like a close. And, and you hear, I hear my, my other uh, teammates talking, some of them 
uh, I can say that the, the client is so kind because once they understand what our, my teammates want to say or express, well, but if we compare the way how we talk, wow, I, 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 I'm surprised at how much I've learned to, for the structure when, while I am talking, make it easier, simple, and short, because they, they speak shorter, right? Yeah, they, they make it simple. Exactly. And you identify, mm -mm, <laughs> there is something wrong right there when you hear other oh, teammates, but it's good because uh, I feel proud of myself. <laughs> I feel proud of how much I achieved, and today was one of those days because uh, it was necessary to make some questions. It was a question in time, but most of the time we were using the clothes, <laughs> the second clothes. <laughs> I identify what's the second clause. I felt yeah, proud. Because it, it <laughs> refers to the, remember that the second clause is present and real. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And now, as I told you last week, um, sales are decreasing every day, every week. Nowadays, like common the customers that I sold last year or at the beginning of this year, they are calling in, or they are emailing, asking what to do to stop paying until the situation gets better. And it seems like the situation is not going to get better soon because the fuel, uh, the food, how prices, etc. So, And the states even formula for little kiddos. Mm -hmm. So um, there was a day that I felt proud of my conversation way. <laughs> skills. The skills, I'm sorry. My conversation skills with the client. That's cool, that's cool. So glad to hear it. Thank you very much and welcome. Thank you, DJ. Heidi, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, come on, you got a sweater? Yeah, it's cold here. No, I got my fan right in front of me. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I, I like it. It's cold. about the rain, I guess. The problem is that, you know, right here, right here, the spot where I live, like, I mean, when I'm coming on the street, I notice that sometimes it is raining and like five, half a kilometer or one kilometer from my house, it mm -hmm. stopped. It stops raining. Rain. You pass this area, the, the San Martin downtown, lane like one kilometer after, it rains again. But this place, mm -hmm. man, it never does. <laughs> really? It's, kind of strange. Yeah. This is me off. Peter, how was your presentation? How did it go? Well, to be honest with you, uh, the first one, not as well as I would have liked. I mean, it was cool. The problem is this, uh, one of our classmates, she said, hey, everybody send me the, the, the your slides and I will make it into one. And I had my slides prepared and order according to what I was going to expose. She changed the order, the whole presentation. <laughs> so when she was passing it i was like what's this and and i mean i had uh, i had the the in another screen i had the the info so i was like looking for the info what am i what am i explaining because i have everything in structure i like to have everything in structure and well you know mm -hmm. you know the way you work mm -hmm. and you know how you manage your notes and that's that was a little bit like uh, uncomfortable for me the other presentation was longer it was like i mean it took me like 20 25 minutes mm -hmm. but i was presenting it on my own way believe me i felt so cool so confident uh, and and i think that that i was able to explain the topic 
as well as I want it. But in the first one, man, I will not accept that again. Because... Uh, I can imagine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's uncomfortable. And I couldn't say like, hey, look, I'm going to stop it. I'm going to, to do mine because it was going to look even worse. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, things happen. And, man, oh, believe it or not, they gave me the results of the statistics meter. Uh -huh. Again, I'm mad. Uh -huh. I'm not mad. I was pissed off almost all day long. They gave them to me early in the morning. I got eight out of ten. Come on, it was not hard, is it? Um, yeah, it is. For me, it is. <laughs> Come on. The workaholic. <laughs> yeah. The thing is this. It was in Paris. And I made four exercises. My partner made three exercises. And he messed up in two of them. Oh, my God. That happens when you have teamwork. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, uh I, I I I don't I don't give permission to my kids to get eights. I I really don't. They should I get give... nine or ten, but no less than that. Yeah, I don't allow myself to get to get better uh, less than less than nine or ten. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I know it was easy. It mm -hmm. was easy, easy, but. Mm, that's the problem when you work with somebody else. Mm -hmm. Okay. I and I know. went to I went to the movies on, oh, really? on Saturday and on Sunday. Mm -hmm. oh, days? Really? What did you go watch? On Saturday we went to watch uh, Doctor Strange with oh, my one. son. Uh huh. And on Sunday Top Gun. Oh really? Top Gun is okay. already. Hmm. My son wanted to really watch nice. that one. Do you recommend it? Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, we will see. Yeah, me too. My 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 family wants to watch that. And I love going to the movies. When I was like when I was single, I used to go like to watch two two movies on a day. Really? <laughs> yeah, I used to enjoy that. And believe it or not, I used to be, I used to go alone. Alone? Yeah, I hate people distracting me from the movie. <laughs> I really, really enjoy watching movies, you know. So oh, yeah. when I, when people start talking to me, I get like, oh, I'm watching the movie. Oh. <laughs> How about going with the girlfriend or your wife? <laughs> I used to go with them. Uh, I mean, if I was going to take a girlfriend to the movies, I used to, if, and if it was a movie that I really liked, I used to go on my own before. So I wouldn't mind. If they were talking or asking me, I was like, yeah, sure, no problem. I had already seen it, so I was like, cool, no problem. That was my little trick. <laughs> Heidi, nice having you here. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Let me get the attendance before we move on. Ada Susana Caceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alejandro Alfredo Sagastume. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present. Dani Josue Garcia Martinez. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancilla. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Thank you, Fernando. Here, teacher. Dani is present. Yes. I'm here. Thank you, Dani. Sorry. I am having problems, but I'm here. No problem, no problem. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. 
Present teacher. Thank you. Eliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Irina Susana Cuellar Albanés. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmín Rivas Navas. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. Steve Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Thank you, guys. Sí. Well, let's see who else is around. Marcos, hello, Marcos, how are you? Hello, teacher, fine. Um, how, how, how are you? I'm just fine, just fine, you know. Same old story oh, as okay. usual. How was your Perfect. weekend? Oh, my weekend, um, um, let me see. I went to to near to Metro Centro uh, uh, the Saturday morning Saturday uh, in order to to do uh, the test for license driver but <laughs> you know uh, they only I arrived like um, 10 p.m. so was late, too late for me. So I hope the next Saturday I will go. And I needed some documents too. Um, so I couldn't do that. I couldn't uh, did my my license driver test. And I, I really want to do that and then I went no sorry um before I went to uh, make um uh, dental treatment once again. <laughs> uh, oh really? Oh through. yeah, you told me the other day that you had problems with that, right? Yeah, is because and uh, they arrange in my uh, appointment and during the week not in the weekend so i'm not able to go during the week but this time they arranged me the, the appointment in the weekend so there's no problem with that and um, monday i went with some friends to the bicentenario park <laughs> and go and ride in a bike almost all the all the morning and the, the weather was really cool because it was not that sunny and but it rains it didn't rain too much so it was cool so the weekend for me was was great i think that's nice. Glad to hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this week, I hope uh, this Saturday, coming Saturday, I hope I could be able to do my license driver test because I need the license driver. <laughs> I have one for for the motorcycle, but I need the one for the car too. Yeah, and this, better. this it's day, really important. This day that is raining. Oh, uh, yeah, you need to take the car. I need another. Yeah. Uh, almost, uh, I barely.
go out during the week that in in an emergency I I think I need to get the car and stay off the motorcycle. Even yeah. if it's raining. You can imagine. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Marcos. Okay, teacher, friends. Maria Alejandra, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher, good evening. I'm fine, and you? Well, you know, just fine, just fine. Tell me, what about you? How was the weekend? What did you do? Mario, uh, you remember my presentation? <laughs> uh -huh. uh, um, Sunday, I take for the first time that Osha Wova, and I try to take a uh, uh, one with a uh, Sugar in melaza. Uh huh. And I have a good experience, teacher. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. So glad to hear it. Huh? So glad to hear it that you had a good experience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. <laughs> so you recommend it to me? Mm, you like that meal with different tea and tapioca? I like milk. Uh, I like, uh, yeah, I like tapioca. Tea. Yeah, I like it. I don't know the mix. Ah, it's uh, the combination of all the ingredients. Tea with, tea with milk, I have tried it. Ah, okay, and the tapioca is the flavor to play and don't modify the... Doesn't modify doesn't modify uh-huh ah uh, me i think that for one thing <laughs> okay interesting we will see we will see uh-huh and only that teacher saturday have a long day a very busy saturday have a had a lot of cases and and uh, in the night, uh, at, I, night. at night, I went to um, Papa's prison. Can you, do you hear or you hear no. this? Uh, it's the, mm, no need for my house, but uh, sales uh, potatoes uh, with meat or different. Uh -huh. There's the popular is a potato mixed with meat and cheese and chirimol. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. And it's good. And only that I maybe don't, um, don't, did, uh, don't do a lot of things because I work and I don't have a lot of time. But I like to first the Sunday and taste the, these bobas and I think that it's good for me. <laughs> okay, well, interesting. Nice, thank you. Okay, you're welcome, teacher. Let's see. Hmm. Ileana. Hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How's everything? Great. I'm good. Ready okay. for the class. <laughs> how was the weekend for you? Mm, the weekend, it was a little bit slow. Mm, Saturday morning, I went to the, to the doctor and I had an appointment. So everything is okay. I had a kind, I had, uh, have 
a kind of control with, the, with this doctor. So I have to go once a month or every two months. It depends. Then before that, um, after that, sorry, I just came back to my home and I stayed home with my family the rest of the Saturday. And yesterday, I just went to the supermarket with my mom. I saw a TikTok uh, yeah, that uh, this girl made a kind of um, snack. I suppose it's a snack that she made with a Greek yogurt and prepared this Greek yogurt with a little bit of sugar then mix these two, these two, I don't know, these two ingredients. And then ingredients. she put ingredients, thank you. And then no, she put- Ingredients, ingredients. Ingredients. Like that, perfect. Okay, thank you. And then uh, she put uh, strawberries and blueberries on the top of the, this base of Greek yogurt and sugar. And then I just have to wait to, to, I don't know how to say it, to freeze. I don't know. Uh -huh. freeze. Yeah. And after that, uh, the result is a kind of, kind of, I don't know, Greek, Greek yogurt, freeze Greek yogurt with strawberries and blueberries. No, the result is frozen. Frozen. Okay. Thank you. Frozen Greek yogurt with the strawberries and blueberries yeah okay interesting remember when you freeze something that something ends up frozen frozen okay got it thank you teacher well and that's nice that, that's nice yeah you know, it was a very say, slow weekend for me little snack well that's a little trick the only one that i made once once I remember I got into, into something because I really wanted to try it and nobody wanted to prepare it because usually I don't cook, I never do, I hate it. Uh, let's see, what did I do? Oh, I remember uh, green apples. I don't usually like them, but green apples. I cut them, I, I boil, uh, I heat uh, chocolate. Mm -hmm. And the apple, uh, I carve it inside and fill it in with uh, chocolate, black chocolate. Dark oh, chocolate. that sounds delicious. And then I put it on the freezer. And after like one hour, I ate it. It was cool. Sounds delicious, and, teacher. And that's the only thing I have ever prepared. <laughs> Very proud of you. Yeah, yeah, sure. Of course, it was a big achievement. What are you talking about? I mean, I was in the pinnacle of my cooking at that time. You see? Yep. Hey, Diana, nice having you here. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. My pleasure. Let's see. Francisco, hello, Francisco. Hello, teacher. Is everything, my friend? Everything is good, teacher. Uh, just finished um, cleaning activities <laughs> in my house. Oh, so you're working but at home. Uh, I am uh, I am going to work uh, at Ooh, uh, the night, night shift. Night shift, right? Is your night shift? That's but heavy. Then, then the the problem uh, I I wake up uh, uh, late because uh, I go to the bed around to I went 11. to bed. I went to to bed. Sorry, Tisha, uh, around to 11. 11 a.m. Uh, because uh, yesterday I went to, to uh, in night shift too. 
Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Right, teacher. That's a chief, a, a Finnish, uh, a, tomorrow. Okay. Just uh, yesterday in, in the world, uh, we at work. have a work, uh, we had uh, a maintenance. 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 Like that. Perfect. Is is uh is was a chief uh, a little bit a little busy because uh, in when when I had a maintenance maintenance uh, uh, we doing many activities. Uh, for example, cleaning the equipment, uh, we have, uh, uh, how do you say, uh, pruebas, teacher, test? Test. Test, we test the, the equipment, uh, and we uh, doing many, many reports. Wow, so. It was busy for you, right, teacher? But uh, the the good part, the the maintenance is uh, one one time at one. Once a month. Once a month. Once a month. Yeah, right, once teacher. a month. Okay, well, it's part of the job, right? Right, teacher. Part of the job. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Nice having you here. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Now, let's see, guys. Okay. I'll send you into groups. I will ask you to get, well, welcome, everyone. Uh, we are going to go in groups. We are going to talk uh, about this, about how was the weekend. Uh, I'm going to ask you about one specific person from your group. You're going to be working in groups of three. So you gotta pay attention because I'm going to ask you about one of the other two members. So you gotta be paying attention to what your classmates did during the weekend. Uh, I need specifically at least two things that your classmate did. So you're going to report to me. Remember, we put a speech, we're going to use it. And we're going to be working with it actually in a couple of days. And then we are going to come back after that, we are going to do a conversation from the manual, inside of manual. Uh, there's gonna be Roxana presenting, right? Yep. She's gonna be presenting tonight. Mm -hmm. That's cool, <laughs> I like, that's the attitude, Roxana, that's the attitude. And let's see what else, uh, well, then we are going to have a conversation. Let me just check my plan if I have it right. Yep. Then we're going to have a conversation again with topics that I'm going to give to you. And we'll call it at night. It's gonna be fun. So let's see right now, you're gonna be asking your classmate, how was the weekend? What did they do? You're gonna be taking notes and you're going to tell me about your classmates. And be prepared. I got a little surprise when you are answering to me. So it's going to be interesting. Let's see. Groups are created, guys. Please jump in. I will jump right now, teacher. I'm sorry because I was checking some some documents. No problem, no problem, my friend. Welcome. Thank you, teacher.
I sent you to another group. Did you get the, the notice? Yes, he did. Went to went to buy um a dress for her uh, gra graduation um, her prom I think I don't know <laughs> um <sighs> it's very very complicated when when a uh, woman boy uh, buys um address i think <laughs> oh yeah it's terrible it's one of the heaviest yeah. experience you can have in your life yeah oh my god yeah that and yeah. you know where no, that's not for, i'm the gross. only girl in this group <laughs> yeah that's no. dangerous no no yeah. no you know you know you know, you know yeah. we love you but to be honest um, i mean that's dangerous for us yeah, as guys my... it's dangerous yeah, I, they uh, this the store uh, don't have seats. Oh. <laughs> Usually they don't. <laughs> yeah, and you have to uh, to wait. No, but you know what it's worth, uh, Danny. <laughs> it's it's worth what? buying buying shoes. Buying shoes is worth. Because if you uh, yeah. ask Ileana, I am sure that at least once in your life, you have gone to all the shoe stores on the on the mall and you didn't find shoes for yep. you. Uh, that happens to me once. Yeah, they uh, go they go no. like there were More than any once, shoes. Actually. <laughs> there there were no shoes, and you've been like, oh my gosh, you know, once uh, I took my wife, my sister-in-law, and my mother-in-law. No. It was <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Believe me, six hours looking for choose three different malls. No. Terrible. Yeah. Um, okay, but, let me see that um, our room is calling. Yeah. Hello. Hello, Hello, teacher. Ada, did they help you? Yes, teacher. Uh, excuse me. Uh, what are going to do? The, I didn't understand. Right now, just tell your classmate how was the weekend. Ah, okay, teacher. Ada, by the way, did they call you from the from yes. the office? Yes, teacher. Yes. Uh, but I guess you will have to make it all again. Mm, more or less. Uh, I uh, a lot work. I call in the morning. Yeah, because I mean, mm -hmm. I am checking right now and according to the platform, mm -hmm. you just have done a little bit from lesson three. Yes, from... it's the problem in the, in the module anterior, estoy así. Somebody was telling me that perhaps it's because you are making it from the app. Mm -hmm. You are not making it from the computer, right? Entonces, voy a tratar de hacerlo mañana porque hoy de verdad no tuve mayor tiempo de trabajo. No, no, that's okay. That's okay. Just let me know so I can be checking. Okay, teacher. Because I, I was asked to, to give a follow up. Okay. okay? Yes, yes, teacher. Thank you. No, I can see you. Um, Juan Carlos? Oh, yes. Uh, then tell me, uh, how was your weekend? Oh, my weekend is combi. Hello, good evening. 
Hello, Alejandro. I sent you to another room, but I guess you didn't go. Uh, I I think my my internet connection oh. let me out. Yeah. That happens. Yeah, the internet connection is not good tonight. Well, mine uh, isn't. It's not that good. Yeah, I don't know. Usually it is good, but not today. Yeah, the same as mine. I mean, usually it doesn't give me any trouble, but tonight is not like as it should be. Mm -hmm. Same. Yeah, but we will see. We will see. Let's hope we can finish. We're just waiting for everybody to come back. Welcome, Irene. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. Roxana, tell me please about um, Jose Wilfredo's weekend. Well, Jose Wilfredo on Saturday uh, visits San Salvador and looking for some stuff by his house and his car, I guess. I, I hear something about that, about the mechanic. And oh, Sunday, parts. Yeah, parts of the car. Yeah, and Sunday, just resting at, ha at home. Oh, that's a miracle. He was on the beach. Cool. Wilfredo, tell me about Roxana. Uh, well, Roxana told us that she worked on Saturday until 11 a.m. And she went to the laundry and she took a dinner with her family near to her house in one pupusaria. And someday she went to the supermarket and washed her car. Then okay. she rest the, the rest of the Sunday. Okay, well, cool. Thank you. Heidi, tell me about Francisco's. Teacher, I guess we have connection problems. Okay, no problem, no problem. Thank you, Heidi. I could tell you about myself. Yeah, but I you just did. Put... You told me uh, about going to the movies. No problem. I'm so sorry. Okay, okay let's see. Uh, um, Anna Claudia, tell me about Ramon. Was Ramon with you? Oh, yes, he was uh, talking about his weekend he worked and we were surprised with Maria Alejandra that she woke up so early because he start he starts working at 6 a.m and has a lot of responsibilities and um he was uh, ending his shift like around 2 p.m and oh, yeah. 2 p.m uh -huh, on Saturday and then made some personal uh, stuff. Yes, I don't remember the other word. Uh, arrangement, no. Uh, la otra palabra. <laughs> the personal stuff. And finally, until Sunday, he could rest. Uh, he woke up late and he decided to rest a lot. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Thank you very much. Now let's see, next one. Okay, Juan Carlos, tell me about Adas. Okay, uh, Ada told me that she uh, helped on his house uh, to clean in her house in her, in her house to clean it and uh, she made an activity with his family but I, I don't remember to be honest uh, what it was 
And what else she told me? Uh, in summary, she was she had a, a busy day, a busy weekend. <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you. Now, now, we now. So much time to practice because we didn't know what to do on the activity. Sorry. Yeah. No problem. Don't worry. Eliana, tell me about Danis. Danis beautiful weekend. I know that Danny was. I mean, he had a very, very heavy experience. We feel so sorry for you, Danny, but please, Iliana, <laughs> share with us. Well, he, Danny uh, told me that uh, he went to San Miguel the whole weekend to visit his mom the whole weekend. And actually, the I don't know if I, I, I confuse a little, but the story about the, the, the dresses, I don't know if he was talking about the weekend or 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 I, I can remember. I just no, remember no, that. It was today. Today, <laughs> oh, uh huh. Yeah, today after work. Oh. That's the reason that he came late. He arrived late to home today. But the weekend, he went to San Miguel to visit his mom the whole weekend and he also told me that he yesterday when he came back to at night at his home he was working on a presentation that he needs to present it today and the result was very successful mm -hmm. okay perfect thank you danny tell me about the vianas um Eliana told me that she went to the doctor to check something and everything was good. Um, then a, she and her mom went to the supermarket um, to buy Greek yogurt, a strawberry, um, and the, all kind of that fruit, fruit um, <laughs> to make this frozen. <laughs> uh, just that. Perfect. Thank you. Nice. Very healthy, Ian. <laughs> I try. <laughs> I don't like healthy stuff. Healthy stuff doesn't taste good. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Now, let's see. Let me just check if there's something. Give me just a second, guys. Okay, guys, now let's see. What are we going to do right now is that I'm going to share with you. Here we go. Okay. What is an example of subordinates using emotions to manipulate others? What is emotional intelligence? Is it a helpful skill when dealing with conflicts? These questions we are going to answer later. Right now, we are going to go to the conversation. And the conversation goes like this. Read the conversation. Edward is a manager from the quality department at an email customer support agency. He is discussing the results of a quality evaluation with an employee who got a low score. Now, let's see. Let me retrieve your file. This is your fifth month in the company, right? Yes, if you don't take the training into a account, it is. Well, it seems your quality score this quarter is very low. Let's look at it carefully and find out your areas of opportunity. It's my manager's fault. 
if he had been more helpful, I would have had a better score. Don't worry, Mike. I will be reviewing the evaluation with your manager and provide your feedback. Your handle times are excellent, so we only need to figure how to help you with quality. But sir, my, te my team is so unhelpful. If they have listened to, me, to my questions, I will have known how to answer the customer's issues. Remember, Mike, that our job requires constant preparation and a lot of reading. You will have gotten a higher score if you have been updated on recent procedures. Have you been reading the new manuals? Er, I, no, sir, I haven't. They're boring. Then let's finish checking your evaluation and then I will get you through with the training department so they can give you an interactive digital copy of the manual. Okay, I repeat. Let me retrieve your file. This is your fifth month in the company, right? Yes, if you don't take the training into an account, it is. Well, it seems your quality score this quarter is very low. Let's look at it carefully and find out your areas of opportunity. It's my manager's fault. If he had been more helpful, I would have had a better score. Don't worry, Mike. I will be reviewing the evaluation with your manager and provide your feedback. Your handle times are excellent, so we only need to figure how to help you with quality. But sir, my team is so also helpful. If they had listened to my questions, I would have known how to answer the customer's issues. Remember, Mike, that our job requires constant preparation and a lot of reading. You will have gotten a higher score if you have been updated on recent procedures. Have you been reading the new manuals? Er, no, sir, I haven't. They're boring. Then let's finish checking your evaluation and then I will get to you through with the training department so they can give you an interactive digital copy of the manual. Well, this is a long one, guys. So you will have six minutes to prepare. Let me send you to the rooms. Remember that was from your manual on page number 22, okay? Got it.
you want to, oh. you want to, to start? Uh, okay. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Let me reprise your file. This is your fifth month in the company, right? Yes. If you don't take the training into account, it is. Well, it seems your quality is correct. This quarter quarter is very low. Let's look at it. let's look at it carefully and find out your areas of opportunity. It's my manager's fault. If he had been more helpful, I would have had a better score. Don't worry, Mike. I will be reviewing the evaluation with your manager and I provide your feedback. Your handle time are excellent. So we only need to figure how to help you with, how to help you with quality. But sir, my team is also unhelpful. If they had listened to my questions, I would have known how to answer the customer issues. Remember, Mike, that our job requires a constant preparation and a lot of reading. You will have gotten a higher score if you have been updated on recent procedures. Have you been reading the manuals? Uh, no, sir. I haven't. They are boring. Then let To my question, I will have known how to answer the customer issues. Remember, Mike, that our job requires constant preparation and a lot of reading. You will have gotten a higher score if you have been updated on recent procedures. Have you been reading the new manuals? Uh, mm, no, sir, I haven't. They are boring. Then let's finish checking your evaluation and then and then I will get you through with the training department so they can give you an uh, interactive digital copy of the manual. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, you right, Ileana. <laughs> No, I, I, oh. I you know, then. You, uh -huh, you switch uh, the role so you can oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. practice okay. the, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm Mike now. Mike, yeah. yeah. Okay. Ready, guys? Heidi? Hello, teacher. There's Roxana here. Hi. I have a Hello, Roxana. So who starts? I will start. Okay, go ahead. Let me retrieve your, your file. Let me retrieve your file. This. This uh, is your fifth month in the company, right? Yes, if you don't take training into account, it is. Well, it seems your quality score this quarter is very low. Let's look at carefully and find out your area of opportunity. It is my manager fault. If he had been more helpful, I would have had a better score. Don't worry, Mike. I will be reviewing the evaluation with your manager and provide your feedback. Your handle times is excellent. So we only need to figure 
how to help you with quality. But sir, my thing is also unhelpful. If they have listened to my questions, I will have no how to answer to the customer issues. Remember, Mike, the adult job requires constant preparation and a lot of reading. You would have gotten a higher score if you had been updated on recent procedures. Let's see, Juan Carlos, you ready? Oh, me? Yep, you, Juan Carlos. Yes. And you, Marcos? Yes. Okay, let's see. Now, who's gonna start? Uh, Marcos, you start. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> Let me retry your file. Retrieve. This is your, okay, retrieve. Let me retrieve your file. This is your fifth month in the company, right? Yes. If you don't take the training into account, it is. Well, it seems your quality score this quarter is very low. Let's look at it carefully and find out your areas of opportunity. It's my manager fault. If he had been more helpful, I would have had a better score. Don't worry, Mike. I'll be, I will be reviewing the evaluation with your manager and provide your feedback. Your handle times are excellent, so we only need to figure how to help you with quality. But sir, my team is also unhelp unhelpful. If they had listened to my question, I would have known how to answer the customer's issues. Remember, Mike, that our job requires constant preparation and a lot of reading. You have gotten a higher score if you have been updated on a recent procedure. Have you been reading the new manuals? Uh, I, I know, sir. I haven't. Uh, they are boring. Then let's finish checking your evaluation and then I will get you through with the training department so they can give you an interactive digital, digital copy of the manual. Okay, thank you. Now, let's see. Jose Rivas, you ready? Yes. You and Ada, you will start, Jose. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's see. Hold on, please. Okay, so let me retrieve your file. This this is your fifth month in the company, right? Yes. If you don't take the training into account, it is. Well, it seems your quality score this quarter is very low. Let's look at, yeah, let's look at it carefully and find out your areas of opportunity. It is my is my manager fault. If he had been more helpful, I would have have had a better score. Don't worry, Mike. I will be reviewing the evaluation with your manager and provide your feedback. Your handle, your handle times are excellent. So we only need to figure how to help you with quality. But I feel my thing is also unhelpful. If they had listened to my question, I would have known how to answer the customer issues. Remember, Mike, that our job requires constant preparation and a lot of reading. Uh, you will have gotten a higher score if you had been updated on recent procedures. Had you been reading the new manuals? Perhaps, or no. I haven't. They are boring. Then 
let finish checking your evaluation and then I will get your through the through with the with the training department so they can give you an interact interactive di digital copy of the manual. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Fernando, you ready? I guess no, Stephen. Suleyma. Okay, Roxana and Ana Claudia. Roxana, you'll start. Okay. Um, let me retrieve your files. This retrieve. is your fifth, fifth retrieve your sorry. Let me retrieve your files. This is your fifth mount in the company, right? Yes. If you don't take the training into account, it is. Well, it seems your quality score this quarter is very low. Let's look at it. Let's look at it carefully and find out your areas of opportunity. It's my manager's fault. If he had been more helpful, I would have had a better score. Don't worry, Mike. I will be re retrieve the evaluation reviewing. with your reviewing. Sorry, I will be reviewing the evaluation with your manager and provide your feedback. Your handle times are excellent, so we only need to figure out figure how to figure. help you. Figure how to help you with quality. But sir, my team is also unhelpful. If they had listened to my questions, I would have known how to answer the customer issues. Remember, Mike, that our job requires content preparation and a lot of reading. You will have gotten a higher score if you had been updated on recent procedures. Have you been reading the, man the new manuals? Uh, no, sir, I haven't. They are boring. Then let's finish checking your evaluation and then I will get you thrown with the training department so they can give you an interactive digital copy of the manual. Okay, perfect. I will get you through, through. Through. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Eliana and Maria Alejandra. Okay. Eliana, you'll start. Okay. Let me retrieve your file. This is your fifth month in the company, right? Yes. If you don't take the training into account, it is. Well, it seems your quality score this quarter is very low. Let's look at it carefully and find out your areas of opportunity. It is my manager fault. If he had been more helpful, I would have had a better score. Don't worry, Mike. I will be reviewing the evaluation with your manager and provide your feedback. Your handle times are excellent, so we only need to figure how to help you with salary. So we only need to figure, figure how to help you with quality. But sir, my thing is also unhelpful. If they had listened to my questions, I will have know how to answer the customer issues. Remember, Mike, that our job requires constant preparation and a lot of reading. You will have gotten a higher score if you had been updated on recent procedures. Have you been reading the new manuals? Uh, uh, no, sir, I haven't. They are boring. Then let's finish finish checking your evaluation and then I will get you through with the training department so they can give you an interactive digital copy of the manual. Okay, perfect. Very well done, girls. Danny and Irene. Okay. Okay. Danny, you start. Okay. Let, let me retrieve your file. This is your fifth month in the company, right? Yes, if you don't take that training into account, it is. 
Well, it seems your quality score this quarter is very low. Let's look at it carefully and find out your areas of opportunity. It's my manager's fault. If he had been more helpful, I would have had a better score. Don't worry, Mike. I will review in the evaluation with your manager and provide your feedback. Your handle times are excellent. So we only need to figure how to help you with quality. But sir, my team is also unhelpful. If they have listened to my questions, I will have no how to answer the customer issues. Remember, Mike, that our job required requires constant preparation and a lot of and a lot of reading. You would have gotten a higher score if you had been updated on recent procedures. Ah, sorry. <laughs> have you been reading the new manuals? Er, uh, I no, sir. I haven't. They are boring. Then let's finish checking your evaluation and then I will get you through with the training department so they can give you an interactive digital copy of the manual. Okay, thank you. Uh, Francisco, are you available? I'm sure if Francisco is on his way to work. I'm sorry? I'm ready to show. Okay, okay. Just get close to your closer to your microphone, okay? You and Ramon. Ramon, you'll start. Okay, okay. Let me see. Let me retrieve your file. This is your fifth month in the company, right? Yes, if you don't take the training into account, this. Well, it seems your quality score this quarter is very low. Let's look at it carefully and find out your areas, area, sorry, of opportunity. It is my manager's fault. If he had been more helpful, I would have had a better score. Don't worry, Mike. Don't worry, Mike. I will be review the evaluation with your manager and provide your feedback. Your handle times are excellent. So we only need to figure how to help you with quality. But sure, my team is also unhelpful. If they had listening to my question, I will have known how to answer to customer issues. Remember, Mike, the already of required constant preparation and a lot of reading. You would have gotten a higher score if I had been updated on recent producers. Procedures, sorry. Have Seizures. you been reading procedures? Okay. Have you been reading the new manuals? Er, I'm not sir. I haven't. They are boring. Then let's finish checking your evaluation and then I will get you through with the training department so they can give give you an inter interactive digital copy of the manual. Okay, thank you very much. Alejandro Alfredo, are you ready? I'm here, teacher. Okay, perfect. You and Heidi. Heidi, you will start. Okay, teacher. Let me retrieve your file. This is your fifth month in the company, right? Yes. If you don't take the training into account, it is. Well, it seems your quality score this quarter is very low. Let's look at it carefully and find out your areas of opportunity. It's my manager's fault. If he had been more helpful, I will have been, I will have had a better score. Don't worry, Mike. I'll be re reviewing the evaluation with your manager and provide you feedback. 
Your handle times are excellent. So we only need to figure how to help you with the quality. But sir, my team is, so un is also unhelpful. If they had listened to my questions, I will have known how to answer the customer's issues. Remember, Mike, that our year requires constant preparation and a lot of reading. You would have gotten a higher score if you had been updated with recent procedures. Have you been reading the new manuals? Uh, uh, no, sir. I haven't. They are boring. Then let's finish checking your evaluation and then I'll get you through with the training department so they can give you an interactive digital copy of the manual. Thank you, guys. Jose Wilfredo and Fernando. Fernando, you ready? Okay, Jose Wilfredo, you and me, you start. Okay. Let me retrieve your file. This is your fifth month in the company, right? Yes, if you don't take the training into account, it is. Well, it since your quality of sport this quarter is very low. Let's look at it, it carefully and find out your areas of opportunity. It's my manager's fault. If he had been more helpful, I would have had a better score. Don't worry, Mike. I will review when the evaluation with your manager and provide your feedback. Your handle time are excellent. So we only need to figure out how to help you with quality. But sir, my team is also unhelpful. If they had listened to my questions, I will have known how to answer the customer's issues. Remember Mike, that our job requires constant preparation and a lot of reading. You would have gotten a higher score if you had been updated on recent procedures. Have you been reading the new manuals? Uh, uh, no, sir. They're boring. Then let's finish checking your evaluation and then I will get you through with the training department so they can give you an interactive digital copy of the manual. Perfect, guys. Very, very well done. Okay, let's see. Attendance. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alfredo Alejandro Sagastume Díaz. Present teacher. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Danny Josué García Martínez. Present teacher. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Thank you, Fernando. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Uh, um, Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Irina Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present teacher. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. Thank you. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. 
Zuleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Now, let's see. After this activity is your presentation, Roxana, so be ready. Okay, guys. First exercise, these two questions, okay? So the questions are, are you able to handle anger correctly? What do you do? Uh, here is missing a do, I'm sorry. What do you do when you have tried everything to solve a conflict, but nothing seems to work? In your manuals, in the Insafor manual, this is page 19, okay? So these two questions we got us here, we are going to be discussing. We will have just three minutes to discuss these two questions. Let me see. And I pasted them already for you to go check it. Let's jump into the groups, three minutes.
Okay, let's just wait for everybody to be back. Okay, let's see. Jose Alfredo, tell me. What do you do when you have tried everything to solve a conflict, and, but nothing seems to work? Hello? Um, well, Tell me, tell me. Maybe, to be honest, teacher, I never had that uh, stage. Okay, you have never been in that situation. No. Uh, because I all the time analyze a lot after it resolve a conflict. Do no, that work? Solved. Yeah. And what about if the other person doesn't want to solve the conflict? What do you do? Oh, well, I try to explain uh, how that will resolve uh, the situation, maybe, and that help. Okay. Because I you. know that both people yeah, yeah. have a, a different point of view, but when you uh, show that what you are doing, you know, whatever what you think is a, a good uh, option, option uh -huh. so maybe that's why every every that's why always work oh, that's great so glad to hear it thank you very much Jose Ruperto. Welcome. what about you mr rivas uh okay it's almost the same too i just try to breathe in and breathe out so and also analyze so the thing that I, that, that I had to say and also I try to just handle the situation to be that like the uh, how, how can I say the the que tranquiliza todo primero yeah the one who handles better the, the anger mm -hmm. yeah sure okay. yeah because sometimes so we know so that that if uh, in order that to find so, so it has to be to to crazy uh, people, right? So not that we can get a, like in a, in a conflict, in a big conflict. So, but I, but I just try to be relaxed and try to explain as well, provide the solutions, so that we can. Uh, okay. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I understand you. Thank you. What? Irene, what about you? Uh, I think that it's important to uh, analyze the situation with the uh, people involved involving in, in the problem. And then uh, um, give them the solutions, the better way for them. Okay, that works better for them. Yes. Thank you. Heidi, what about you? Uh, teacher, I tried to find um, 
a point where both of, of them agree. And make yeah, yeah. it a, how do you say punto de partida? Starting point. A starting point, exactly. Okay, thank you. Interesting. Very well. Now, Roxana, your turn. Yeah. For a presentation or for a question? Presentation, my dear. Okay. Let me see. There you go, okay. your presentation is already on the screen. Okay. Uh, good night, everybody. Tonight I'm going to talk. I'm going to talk about take care of yourself. So I'm talking about physical, mental, spiritual, and social health. Next, please. Thank you. Well, the first one is physical health. Whether you were once much more physically uh, active or have never been one to exercise regularly, now is a great time to start an exercise and fitness regimen. Getting an, an staying in shape is just an, as important for seniors as it is for younger people. Why is exercise important for people? Getting your hair, hair rate up and challenging your muscle benefits, benefits virtually every system in your body and improves your physical and mental health in, myri in myriad ways. Physical activity helps maintenance the a healthy, sorry, a healthy bound pressure. Blue, blue, blue pressure. Blue, blood pressures. Keeps harmful plagues from building up in your arteries. Reduce inflammation, improves blood sugar levels, strengths, strengthens bones, and helps states of depression. Many people hesitate to get moving because they are, are, in, are in, unfamiliar with the types of exercise. Unfamiliar. 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 Unfamiliar, thank you, with the types of exercise and fitness that are effective and safe and aren't sure how much exercise they need to do. Next, please. Um, now, mental health. Everyone feels worried or anxious or down from time to time, but rel relatively from Few people develop a mental illness. What's the difference? A mental illness is a mental health condition that gets in the way of thinking, relating to others and day-to-day -day functions. Does enough mental illness have been identified and defined? They include depression, generalized anxiety disorder, bipolar anxiety. disorder, Anxiety. anxiety, anxiety disorder, bipolar disorder, obsessive compulsive disorder, post traumatic stress disorder, schizophrenia, and many more. Common symptoms include low energy or problems sleeping, often feelings angry, hostile, or violent, often thinking about death or suicide. In some suicide. people, sorry, suicide. Suicide. In some, in some people, symptoms of a mental illness first appear has physical problems such as stomachache, back pain, or insomnia. But people feel better by talking with a therapist and following a treatment plan that may or may not include medication. Next, please. Now, spiritual health. Many studies associate spirituality with increased quality of life. So people, people's belief that 
what they consume. A meta-analysis performed by the American Cancer Society, Society's Study of Cancer Survivors found, and found that spirituality, spirituality was an independent predictor of a better quality of life and emotional well pain. A separate analysis of this same data found that fate contributed fate contribute a significant I'm sorry, amount contributed contributed fate contributed a significant amount to cancer survivors functional quality of life with nearly 70% of participants reporting that re religion and spirituality help them throughout their cancer experience. The relationship, the relationship between, between spirituality and health is not limited to cancer treatment. A multi-site study of HIV AIDS patients showed that 80% of participants were confirmed by their spirituality spirituality and 70% 75% sorry found a strengthened religiosity strength strengthened strengthened I'm strengthened, sorry strengthened strengthened religiosity due to their illness we cannot deny the existence deny. of we cannot deny the existence of a superior being. Next, please. And finally, social health. Do you part to help from healthy relationship with other by practicing some good habits? The first one is be an empathic listener. So practice paying close attention when someone is speaking to you and take the time to understand what the person is saying. Next, share the spotlight when someone spotlight. is talking to you. Spotlight. When someone is talking to you about the problem. Keep the focus on them. Stay calm. Keep calm during discussion to ensure that they are constructive rather than destructive. If you aren't able to stay calm in the moment, stop, please. Interact in person. Sometimes, a, sometimes a, a, a stressful relationship can be made worse by social media, but may have more aggressive confrontation online than they, than they do in person. And finally, aggressive. And aggressive. aggressive. Okay, aggressive Continue, conf confrontation online than they do in person. And finally, emph emphasize the positive. Getting into the habit of grading down two or three specific things that you are grateful for each day and share that. And finally, if you take care of yourself, you will be happier than the others. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Roxana. Uh, due to the time factor, I will check some little, some little details at the end of the class. You stay just for a minute, okay? Okay. Now, guys, let's see next activity. Okay. Okay, guys, I'll send you into groups and I got two questions for you. There's a couple of questions for you to have fun. The first one, if you had won the lottery, what would you have bought? Second one, if you had more time this week, what would, have, what would you have done? Okay, again, third type of conditional, you need to use it. You will have just four minutes for this activity because I got more questions for you. So groups are open, jump in.
maybe a house. You will have bought a house. Yeah. If I if I had want the lot lo how do you say that word, teacher? Lottery. Lo lottery? Lottery. Lottery, okay. I would have bought a house. I said, right, teacher? Yep. Okay. Yeah. And what about you, Danny? If you had won the lottery, yeah. what would you have bought? Um, if I had won the lottery, I would have bought a house too, a nice house. <laughs> or maybe two. <laughs> <laughs> because one is not enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and what about you, Alejandro? If you had won the lottery, what would you have bought? If I had won the lottery, I will have buy. I will have bought Both. stocks. Both. Both. Both stocks. 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 Okay. What is stocks? Sorry. In what? Uh, acciones. Bolsa. Acciones. <laughs> ah, okay. Thank you. In what company or what kind of market? Would you have both? Uh, uh, if I had won the lottery, I will have both in S S standard spool in standard spools five hundred, which is the index of uh, the five hundred biggest company uh, that cotiza that. Uh, okay. Market. It's an index that you can purchase the stock, and indicates the how how good or how bad is doing the in general the the market. Okay. Okay, and if you have more time this week, what will have what would you have done? In my case, if I had had more time this week, I would have gone to the beach to relax. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I had had more time this week, this week, um, I would have. Um, I will have cook.
Sorry, guys. Internet connection is giving me problems. Okay, let's see. Eliana, where are you? I'm here, teacher. Okay, choose one of the two questions and pick one of your classmates. Ask. Okay. Hello, Ana Claudia. Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening. So tell me, if you had won the lottery, what would you have bought? I would have bought two houses, one at the beach and the other one at the mountain. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Ana Claudia, choose one of the two questions and pick one of your classmates. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. Francisco, if you had, are you there, Francisco? I guess Francisco is on his way to work right now. Ah, okay. So let me ask Ada, if you had more time this week, what would have done? Hello, good evening, Ana Hello, good evening. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> I go to the fabulous to buy a new house, a new car, and invest in the business, travel, and stay for my old day. Only. If you had more time this week, so. Okay, just one good. question. Just one mm -hmm. question. Okay. Yes, that was that was my question. Yeah, but she answered the other one. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Now let's see. Uh, 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 um, Marcos, ask one of your classmates. Okay. Um, Fernando. Fernando. Come okay. Perfect. Come in, Marco. Um. Okay. If you have won the lottery, what would you have both? Uh, if I, sorry, I will have both a tour Europe for the Champions League finals. Mm, okay. Okay, interesting. Okay, thank you, Fernando. Your turn. One of the two questions to one of your classmates. Okay, um, Roxana. I hate you, tell me. If you had more time this week, what would have done? Well, this week, uh, if I have more time, I will rest in because the last day I'm not feeling better. Okay, thank you. Roxana, your turn. Maria Alejandra. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you have more time this week, what will you what will have done? Maybe I will. I will have an appointment for my mother because I forgot. <laughs> okay. I will need that. Okay. Okay. Now, next set of questions, guys, because we still got 10 minutes. So we've got five minutes to ask and answer, and then we come back here. The question, how different would your life have been if you had never studied? How different would your life have been if you had been born with nine siblings? Cool, right? Think about it, ask and answer each other. Okay, you got five minutes, hurry up.
the, the opportunity to help my mom or my father or my sister to anyone who who needs my my support. <laughs> Okay, that's nice. And what about you, Alejandro? Alejandro. Mm. As me. I think he's not available right now. And Suleiman either, mm. right? You can ask me. Okay. Teacher. How different would your life have been if you had never studied? Ooh, hard for me to even imagine. Because I love studying. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we know you love study. I don't know. I don't know. I cannot even picture it. I mean, wow. <laughs> the problem is this. I mean, it's easy when people get a lot of physical abilities but you know when i was a kiddo uh, i mean i was uh, okay i was a late bloomer okay a late bloomer bloomer oh yeah and, I, and i'm not talking about panties okay. <laughs> yeah my god a late bloomer <laughs> yeah the thing is for this that I, for a second i, I imagine I, I, <laughs> no, no comments, no comments, no yeah. comments, please. No. <laughs> the thing is this, uh, I mean, uh, when I was 15, I was pretty, pretty short. Okay. And I mean really short. I Ouch. really, really grew up until I was 16. I mean, I was like 150 or 140 something. And... I grew up up to 172. So, I mean, okay. and I was pretty thin and a little bit weak. So my physical uh, attributes at that time were not that good. So when I was in, when I was 16, it was the time when I started like playing sports, like playing basketball, volleyball, and you know, but before that, my physical abilities were not that good. And if you don't study, I mean, the other option you got in life is to use your hands, right? A physical job? Yeah. I will have suffered a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what about you, Eliana? Yeah. What would you have done? Well, in my case... Mm, my life would be completely different, teacher. Completely, completely different, I think. Maybe. What do you I, think would you have done? If I had never studied, mm -hmm. mm, work. As what? Mm, I don't know. I can't imagine. I worked as a seller in a store for a while so i think that i wasn't too bad so maybe okay. a seller maybe okay that's nice so you could convince people to buy yep that's one of the few jo jobs that i don't feel that attractive to yeah it, it's a uh, this this job it has um i don't know how to say it Mm, sometimes uh, it's a little bit difficult to convince people and nice. and at the end of the month i have to to reach my goals my goal so i always i, I i'm proud of, of that i'm always reach my goal when i when i work as a, as a seller in this store and yeah maybe maybe that 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 will be the 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 option if we'll have I have never studied will have been the option if I have never studied. Okay. Cool. And interesting. Yeah. Okay, guys, let's go back. Okay. Thank you, church.
Well, today went quite fast, uh, guys. I'm sorry we cannot uh, share no more because it's almost time. Let me remind you that today we are finishing section two, so you are supposed to finish in the platform section one, section two, and midterm. If you got any question, let me know. If there any problem arises, please let me know, and so we can give a follow up and see what's wrong and how can we help you. Okay, let me get the final attendance. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alejandro Alfredo Sagastume Díaz. Present teacher. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Danny Josué García Martínez. Present teacher. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Sorry, teacher, I'm here. Thank you, Francisco. Me Ileana too, Giselle. Thank you, Sorry. Jairi. No problem. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. I'm here, teacher. Irina Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present teacher. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barria Antorso Romero. Present teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Roberto Luis Sumaña Orellana. Grite la mano, Rosana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Here, Mr. Thank you. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Okie dokie. Hey, guys. A pleasure having you here in my class. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Work in the platform. Bye bye. Thank you, bye, teacher. teacher. Good night, everybody. Bye. 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 Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hello. Hello. No se asuste, por favor. Oh my God, there you are. Long time no see. I know. Longer hair. I need to cut. No, that's okay. It looks nice. But I'm I'm the type of guys who likes long hair, ladies. Okay. Well, in my case, I feel. Well, but uh, I need to cut because, uh, you know, for the, for the gym, always I need to do a ponytail. Yeah, but tie it up, tie it up. No, the thing is that I, I hate the... Sweat. Sweat, yeah. That's the reason. But yeah. now it's longer. Yeah. So, how's everything? So far, so good, you know. I love your attitude. So far, so good, you know. Yeah, the wow. thing is this. Uh, the, sometimes, some days, uh, the work is hard because we have uh, extra requirement for audit or something like that. So. You got we your need responsibilities to... at home. Yes. And everything. Yes. But I guess the gym is helping, right? Yes, and I need to do it because my health is not better now. But I need to do exercise. That's good. That's good. I mean, believe me, after a 
few months, you will feel the difference. It helps a lot. A lot. Yeah, I know. Well, the last There's... time I visited the nutritionist because I need to uh, organize my feed, my food. My eating habits. Eating habits. And mm -hmm. I'm working on that. And I need yeah. to organize my time for work, for cooking, for gym, for my son, for everything. But then, yeah. for the rest, I, I think that everything is okay. I understand you totally. Look at me, I'm preparing a project now in order to work more. Another project? Yeah, another project. They have asked me to prepare. The thing is this. Uh, there's a, a, a city hall that they got a project that they got uh, some contacts in the United States and they got some people that they send there to work. Okay. They get them a, a working visa. So people go, stay there for six months, then come back, then, then they send another group. But the, pro the problem is that they were they were kind of informal and the last teacher left with the group. Okay. So right now they are not, and they have not given a follow-up to that group, but they have had some problems arising with the, with the owners of the companies. They are complaining about some little details that they expected to, 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 for the participants to be able to deal with. And so they have asked me for a project. I have uh, I have eight months in order to get that people ready okay. to be there. So I am planning my working four hours face-to-face, uh, -face, then six more hours during the week, uh, like with homeworks, activities, extra activities. And I think I can get them to a good level. Okay. Do you have but, a lot of time? But it's, yeah, it's, I mean, <laughs> to prepare it is a little bit complex because, uh, you know, I need to be checking the, this, the topics. I'm going to be following a book. I'm going to be preparing my own material. So I need to, I need to have everything plan yeah with detail otherwise i will be in, in trouble because i mean uh during that time i won't have that much time to be like modifying so i need to have everything ready before mm -hmm. so yeah. for the moment when i get there just to implement do you have the way, plan now no i just started today yeah but i'll finish you, it tomorrow i guess yeah i know you love work yeah i'm gonna have it tomorrow and it's quite interesting believe me i mean i got i got hooked so like uh, my lunch time a uh, little break that i have in the morning <laughs> i got into it and i started like looking for info looking for the standards the european standards to see which level i can get them to mm, it's gonna be fun yeah, I imagine. Well, but in my I'm case, I'm gonna ask for extra money. Yeah, that's the reason. Well, in my case, I don't have a lot of time to do extra activities. Just cooking now, you know. I need to organize the time. But uh, maybe after the English, I will I will uh, take a uh, Excel. Excel a uh, program, maybe, yeah, course. Yeah, yeah. actually, no, I, I, right now I'm also hooked with Excel. I'm looking for, for, for uh, uh, functions, formulas, yeah, stuff like that. And it's cool, it's cool. I like it, I like working with Excel. I use it a lot. Yeah, I use a lot. But you, uh, we usually usually uh, use a report, 
but you know when you change your uh, company in the future you need to improve to have some a good, yeah to yeah. have a good command yes yeah. that's the reason yeah and i mean in, right now if you got and if you can prove that you got a good command of itself that's a big plus for companies a big big plus because yeah I, I don't i don't know why but I mean, Excel is nice. It helps a lot, but a lot of people is kind of afraid to work with it. Another other topic that is important in my area is NIF. Do you know what is NIF? No. Normas Internacionales de Información oh, yeah. Financiera. Oh, yeah, yeah. I hey, need to thing. update. Hey, hey, me too. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I hate but it. I need to study it. Yeah, I hate that. Man, that thing is crazy. The last time I was uh, watching some videos on YouTube, and I remember some uh, topic that now I didn't have idea. And I tried to uh, memorize them, but now I need to continue to study because they What's your specific are... area? Contabilidad, accounting. You work accounting. In general, accounting, but you know, it is... Um, but you want to work with uh, business? It's now uh, I'm working in commission. It's a... Uh, mm. Let's see, I guess. Let Don't me see. see. Banking and finance. No. Business Accounting presentations. Payable. Yeah, I don't know why, but for me, it's still payable accounts. I got English sales and purchasing. Let's see what else. English for human resources. No, you don't want that. Uh, Email and business writing. No, you don't want that. Ah, I got a lot of. It. Let's see if I got something for you here on my magic box. Okay. <laughs> what I'm telling you right now, uh, what I'm mentioning right now, are manuals and books. This is uh, business. Yes. Business English. Oh, international trade and investment. That's okay. what you want, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. I got vocabulary for that. Stock market, uh, exporting. Yeah. I got material for you. Okay. I'll see you face to face once, at least just to give it to you. <laughs> okay. Hey. Oh, sorry, my cell phone just. No, it's just that I got a lot of material, and that material, I mean, I was teaching those subjects, those topics, I mean, uh, a long while ago, but I don't do it no more. It was for British something. It's different, so different. No, 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 no. It was a British Academy, but it was uh, an American English. No worry. Ah, okay. Yeah, you know, the vocabulary is almost the same because that's one area where everybody needs to be speaking in the same way. Trade. Otherwise, so now... I mean, yeah, done. Now we don't use English because uh, all my partners live in Dominican Republic and just my boss is in United States, but she doesn't speak English. So it's complex because I don't practice in my work, just here. Yeah, and you need to practice more. And I learned some uh, 
words for the programs because the programs are in English. Yeah, that's also, I mean, helpful, right? Yes, a lot. But if you could send the material, I will check. Yeah, I will, I will, I will. Let me see. Well, you know what? I'll send you the, the, the little details because actually what I wanted to check with you were just uh, the pronunciation of some words, okay. certain words, but I mark them and I will send them to you so you can, the audio so you can uh, practice and improve. Actually, you've been improving. You are speaking faster now and you are using better vocabulary, which is good. But just I changed little, the words. Yeah, but when just, I... little, just little things that you are still killing me, like having dinner, you know? Yeah, took dinner. Those little, yeah, those Are little okay? things, those little things we need to work on. But don't worry, you are improving and you're doing pretty well. And you are almost done. I mean, you are almost in advance now. Okay. <laughs> You'll enjoy advance. You'll feel it like faster and more interesting, believe me. So don't stop now. Okay. It's gonna be I good try. for you. Yeah. And keep on with the exercise. It's good. Okay. Roxana, what a pleasure to see you and to have you here. See you Thank tomorrow. You, teacher. Take see care. you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Okay, that's it.